All right, g'day guys, and welcome back tonight to another Obsidian video. Tonight we're going to be looking at workspaces, um, specifically a plugin called Workspaces Plus. Uh, the plugin is optional, and I'll, I'll show you the difference between the two. Um, but basically, it's a way for you to sort of have shortcuts to different configurations of your Obsidian Vault. Uh, it's super handy and I highly recommend it. I'm finding it really, really useful at my table because it's speeding up my ability to transition to new pages. Um, and yeah, I'm loving the functionality. So let's jump over and have a look. All right, so in front of me, you can see that I've got my vault up. Um, you know, this is uh, my DM screen. Um, and let's say that we're having a conversation, I'm playing my game and I want to bring up my map of Feyron. So I have got to find it. It's in here under, where is it? It's at the top here. Yeah, up the top here, here we go. Uh, Forgotten Realms, uh, Toral, Faron. it's in here. There we go, there's my map. Um, but then let's say that I wanna go back to my notes about my, my, my game that I'm playing. Uh, that's called the journey board. I gotta find that and I click back and I can go to here. All right, so it doesn't take too long for us to transition around um, and sort of find these things. But how much quick is this? All right, so I'm sitting here, I'm using this um, Excalibur draw to, to manage and run my game. Absolutely love this functionality, by the way. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, and I can now click down here, click Fair Run. It reloads and I've got my map. If I wanna go back to my uh, journey board, I click down here, I click my journey board and I go back. All right. If I am using two screens at the same time, I have a two screen set up, or if I want to go to my DM screen, I click here and I go back. All right. It's just like having a shortcut there. And I really like that functionality. It's so much easier for me to use at the table. And it really sort of just takes away that time that I was using to, to find notes that I, I know where they are, but I just didn't, you know, want to spend the time navigating to them. Um, and obviously like with most things, I'm usually linking two things directly from the notes that I'm reading. But I do have some notes that are just unique. And I guess the, these ones that I just showed you, I certainly they fall into that category. Like I don't have a, a, a note that says refer to DM screen or refer to the journey, jo uh, journey board. They're just ones that I just have that I, I start as my top player. It's where I go first. So <clears throat> anyway, I'm really liking it. So how do we get this functionality? So we come down here to settings. All right, then we're coming here to core plugins, I think is actually, um, where is it? And workspaces. All right, so workspaces by default is a core plugin. And you can see here that there's hotkeys for it and there's enable it on and off. So tick it to enable it, make sure you go into your hotkeys and you can see what's going on here. So um, what have we got? We got manage workspaces, save and load another workspace, load workspace. So I haven't actually got a hotkey set, but you could obviously do that. Um, now, it took me a while to find this, but how do we actually get to that? So that enables this button over here. All right, so I can come here, I can go, all right, I want to load that one. If I want to create a, a new um, board, uh, so here's the fifth edition magic travel calculator. Well, that one actually doesn't work. We'll go into the chase rule. Say I want something for my chase rules, so that I can keep it, keep coming to it. I can click here, I can go chase rules, save, now if I go back here, I can go, oh, let's load my map. I can go here and load my chase rules. So that's the default out of the box solution. <clears throat> and it goes a lot further than this, right? Like, just so you guys can fully understand the functionality, we can do all sorts of things here. So we'll save this with all of these different sort of windows set up. Um, I wonder if we can override. We'll override the chase rules. All right, so now if we come over here and we go load my map, notice how the entire layout's changed. So it's not just the page that I'm going to, it's also the columns and the different sort of pages that are loaded. But now if I go back to chase rules, the sidebar's out, the screens are exactly where I left them. All right, so you can do some cool things here. And I've heard stories of people who are using, like they have a combat screen, for example. They click combat screen and it comes up with everything they need to manage your combat. Um, you can have your DM screen, you can have your reference material. Like I'm sure you can come up with some fantastic ideas on how you can use this. But that's over here and I find these buttons, they, they can, you know, 
get a bit overwhelming. I've got a lot of them these days. I run a lot of plugins, as you guys are well aware. Um, so I don't like that button. So I uh, went down a different path. So I went here to settings and I came in here to community plugins, went browse and uh, what are we calling it? Workspaces plus. So just type in workspaces plus, come in here and basically we're going to install this one. So obviously you'll have an option here to install it. Uh, once you've installed it, click enable. And while you're here, you can come through and you can obviously um, read the readme file and you can basically come through and uh, see what this plugin is all about. It's very simple functionality, guys, like to be completely honest, it doesn't change a lot, this one. Um, and you know, the conversations I've had is that some people felt this was unnecessary. I just really like the way this lays the button out. It's down here. It's in my right hand corner, right? There's nothing else down here apart from some word counts. Oh, there is some backlinks though. That's interesting. Oh, need to learn how that works. Um, but there's, there's just down here, right? So I can click it. If I want to save this one from here, I can type my name and click shift, shift enter. That saves it. And then if I want to load it, I can from here as well. I really like that. All right. It's completely not necessary, but you know, it's just easier for me to get to. So yeah, look, that's, that's really all there is to it, right? It's, it's not huge functionality. It's not groundbreaking, but it is certainly, um, it, it's capability of making your games quicker and your ability to sort of run through your games and find the information quicker is really, really fantastic. I quite like it. So yeah, anyway, that's been uh, workspaces plus, um, hope you find that useful. Um, you know, Hopefully it'll make your games a bit more efficient. Um, let's do the spill. So a big huge thanks to all of my patrons. Uh, anyone who is playing 5th edition um, and is looking for templates or uh, looking to access to, you know, some of my um, my notes to, to kind of help you learn how to use the application, my Patreon is available. Uh, massive big thanks to my existing patrons because uh, you're, you're helping obviously uh, with the content and as well as sort of, you know, um, you know, I just appreciate the support. It's fantastic. So keeps me encouraged to make more videos. Although I have been told that maybe I've made too many. I think it's like 30 hours worth of videos at this time. So maybe too many. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'll speak to you guys in the forums. Have a great day and uh, enjoy yourselves.